washida Lakini sasa wamefarikiwa wana wazao Lakini sasa wameinuliwa wana wazao Natangaza nasema heshimu Natangaza nasema heshimu wazazi Ili baraka zako zisi ondoke Ili papanikio yako ya si ondoke sana mitambo ine ito ya KDM Kenya Diaspora Media tunawakaribisha mahali popote mlipo mimi naitwa Jeremy Damaris na sio kawaida kunipata siku kama ya leo lakini ukiniona hapa nimefanya kazi kazi sababu sisi huwa tunasema we are the community pillar na kuitwa the community pillar ni kumaanisha ile jambo yote ambayo inafanyika hapa lazima tunaifuatilia na tunajua ya kwamba haki inapatikana. Ukiangalia kwenye title yangu unasema kiki wa ngendo family comes out. Najua kuna story ambazo zinaenezwa kabisa kwenye mitandao ya Facebook, YouTube na kila pahali kwa mshichana ambaye anakili ya kwamba yeye amewaabukiza wanaume wengi ukimwi na vile vile 
ana you know anaongea mambo mingi sana kuhusu familia yake na pia mzazi wake na sababu wote wako hapa Marekani mamake yako hapa Marekani na aniko yake Jack yako hapa Marekani na hapa ndipo nilipo eh, nikasema I'll have to come out and look for this family at least because it is not in order uh, mtu mmoja kusema jambo na pia si tunalichukua na tunalieneza uh, tukidhani ama tukisema hivyo ndivyo ukweli ulivyo uh, that's why chukua hii hatua na by the way leo mnikubalie niongee Kiswahili uh, ndio tuweze kuongea na familia yao hapa sababu niko na family niko na sister ya Kiki Wange do na pia niko na mamu hapa na pia niko na Uncle Jack na wote wako hapa ndio tuweze kuongea uh, sababu kwa hakika watu wanasema msichana ni mgonjwa yeye mwenyewe nimejaribu kuongea na yeye kulingana na venye anasema anasema yeye si mgonjwa na because niko hapa na familia yake i want you to be there tusikize hii maneno na tusaidiane venye tunaweza dia hii badala ya kueneza uvumi ambao hauna uhakika hauna ukweli tuweze kujua ukweli kabisa ni upi katika familia hii na nikiangalia upande wangu wa saidi nyingine naona familia yote iko hapa na kwa hivyo without kutupa wakati ama kutupa masaa ninaona niko na mam na niko na jack na wote wako tayari hapa kuongea na mimi. Na ningetaka kuanza na na mam wa Kiki Wange do. Nijue mam ni uraji wako hana hata mam. Ah, uh, you know. Nda kuni ta oge ni mitabu ni no ito nimekukaribisha vizuri na jua ya kwamba hili jambo limekuguza sana 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 na ninashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kujitokeza na kuja hapa uh, kuzungumzia haya maneno. Karibu sana mam. Asante. Haya niko na Anko Jack. Anko vipi? Salama sana na shukuru. Aya, karibu sana pia wewe unajua tumesikia mambo mingi sana yako hata sasa nikasema lazima nijue huyu aniko Jack ni mgani bwana. Ndio mimi sasa. Aya, niko na sister ya Kiki pale anaitwa Sala. How are you my sister? Ngure. Yes, karibuni sana. Najua hili jambo ni la familia yenu na ninajua limewaguza sana sana sana. Na ningetaka tu tuanzie hapa sababu labda kuna kuna watu ambao ha, hawaelewi haswa tunazungumzia kuhusu nini. Na ningetaka niwaguzie tu kidogo tu ya hii story ndio at least wewe unaingia saa hizi ujue tunazungumzia nani na tunazungumzia kuhusu nini. Na hii story niko nayo hapa kwa dakika moja tu. Niweke clip moja hapa ndio tujue tunazungumzia kuhusu nini hebu sikiza hii alinifungulia kinyozi yangu wewe ulikuwa na sponye a sponye a sponye lazima wewe una angalia check your uh, sponsor <laughs> <laughs> sponsor ai my friend by all means eh. ukiwa mrembo mm. lazima utumie aki akili si ndio one thing mimi sijasaidiwa na mama yangu sijasaidiwa na anybody my dad my, my 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 dad is late alikufa i don't know how many years back mm -hmm. and uh, okay hiyo si shughuliki na i'm mm -hmm. talking about myself and maybe my mom mamangu hakunisaidia mahali mimi nikiwa 18 years nime, uh, kutoka 18 years till now nimepitia through stigma through rejection with my own family mimi ni uh, I'm, i'm the second born in a family of two mm -hmm. just me my sister and i and my mom sasa so you are just the three of you just the three of us plus mtoto wa sister yangu kusabali mm. mzaki wa high school i would say we are the four of us okay bas hatutaendelea zaidi hapo kwanza tufikishe hapo kidogo uh, sasa hiyo ndio story ambayo tunazungumzia huyo kiki wangendo niko na mamake hapa ambaye anaitwa Lucy na Lucy nianzie na we mam sababu hili jambo limekuguza sana haswa mtoto wako kuja katika mtandao na kusema ya kwamba wewe ndiye umefanya aingie katika hizi tabia hili jambo unalichukulia namna gani mam uh, mimi vile naweza sema Njoo kini nimemlea kama vile mtu anaweza lea mtoto wake. Right. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akaamua kujiingiza kwa hiyo tabia zake. Aha. Njoki wakati nilimwacha alikuwa na miaka 18. Uh -huh. Na ni mtoto ambaye amenisumbua sana tangu uh, uh, fikishe kitu kama 15 14 years hapo. Right. Nilimpeleka shule tatu akitoka uh -huh. kila shule uh -huh. anaenda anasoma one term uh -huh. ana, ana, anatoka right. the first one ilikuwa ni hiyo ya kangundo uh -huh. akasema ati huko anaogopa kuna nyoka uh -huh. hata rudi right. mimi kama mzazi nikaona kama pengine anaona ni hivyo wacha uh -huh. nijaribu kumbadilisha shule nikampeleka makuyu girls uh -huh. makuyu girls nikampeleka nikalipa nikalipa fees 
baada ya siku mbili akatoroka shule akaenda kwa my sister Ebu Ludisa simu yako vizuri tunaona giza sana. Ebu eh wacha ikae hapo hapo exactly haendelea. Mhm. My sister kaniambia yuko huko. So nikaenda nikamchukua nikamrudisha nyumbani. Mhm. Kaongea na yeye na ikawa atarudi shule the following day. Lakini wakati nilimwacha kidogo akaja akachukua dawa za dadangu. Right. Ambayo nilikuwa naishi naye na alikuwa mgonjwa. Akameza dawa a uh, commit suicide. So ingefanya vile tu, tu, tulifanya tukamsaidia na akatengenezwa na akaanza counseling Hallingham na akamaliza counseling. Na, na counselor akaniambia ni muache akae mpaka wakati ataniambia ye mwenyewe anataka kurudi shule. Right. Then um, wakati alikaa one year akaniambia anataka kurudi shule. Nikamuuliza una hakika kwa sababu sitaki kupoteza pesa zangu tena. Akaniambia ndio nimeamua mimi mwenyewe ndio nimeamua. Nikampeleka shule Naivasha. Naivasha akasoma one term. Second term hakurudi shule, akaanza kupotea nyumbani. So mimi kama mzazi nina uchungu kwa sababu ya yale nimepitia na yeye na zile pesa nimepoteza na yeye wakati huo. So wakati mimi nili, 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 niliamua sasa hii sasa imenishinda nikamwacha. Kwa hivyo Nika, sasa wakati sasa wakati yeye alikuwa mdogo sasa alikuwa mtu mkatili sana ukafika mahali ukasema sasa yeah. nimetumia pesa kwa shule utai kusoma sasa wewe enda ufunze na dunia. Ie yeah. siku mfukuza kwangu alikaa nyumbani nikakaa mimi mi, mi, mimi ni mfanyabiashara naenda nafanya kazi narudi jioni. Mm-hmm. Niliishi na familia yangu right. my brothers my mm-hmm. sister mm-hmm. na even my, my my nieces and nephews right so joki ilifikia wakati nilisafiri mm-hmm. akajiingiza kwa mambo ambayo si mazuri mm-hmm. ya kuzurura mm-hmm. I, i think ilianza kitambo ni vile tu mzazi hawezi jua kwa sababu okay. we ukienda kazini ukirudi jioni Mm-hmm. Unafikiria mtoto wako yuko, yuko sawa kwa sababu unamkuta tu nyumbani vizuri. Mm-hmm. So wakati nilikuja nilimwacha na dadangu mm-hmm. na my brother ambaye ni Jack. Mm-hmm. Na I used, nilikuwa natuma pesa kama kawaida kusaidia mm-hmm. watoto wangu, kulea watoto wangu hawajakosa mm-hmm. kitu chochote. Mm-hmm. Lakini yeye mwenyewe akaamua ajiingize katika hiyo mambo ya usharati. Right. Wakati Wata... niliambiwa hata ukisikiza kwenye video yake ya kwanza ya Tuko yes. alisema ati mimi nilipigiwa simu nikaambiwa ati anafanya hayo mambo mm-hmm. ati na nikamtukana nika or something like that. Right. Okay. Mimi kama mzazi nilimkalisha chini mm-hmm. na nikamwambia na, 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 na nika hayo ambayo unafanya mm-hmm. hayafai. Right. Lakini ni kama alikuwa ameanza kutumia madawa mm-hmm ama sijui kwa sababu hata wakati nilienda nyumbani mara ya kwanza mimi kama mamake alinitukana akanitukana vibaya sana ambayo hata si, sijui sijui ni, ni, ni seme nini kwa sababu nimepitia uchungu na huyu mtoto haya mam tuliza tu hapo nirudi kwako sala sala nasikia sista yako wakisema hapa ya kwamba mko wawili na yeye hakusaidiwa sasa wewe ni sister yake. Hebu tusikize hii video kidogo tu mara nyingine moja. Tusikie venye anasema hapa. One minute. But we've never seen eye to eye. Hiyo stigma yangu mimi as in hiyo rejection yangu I don't know where it came from. I would like for my mama to tell me neko ko neke neke damu ikire niguo adigani rieto do. The first time I would say I felt rejection is the first time I tried to commit suicide. I attempted suicide. Shikilia hapo. Haya, sister, sasa sistako, nyinyi ni wawili mumezaliwa pamoja. We uli experience mamako akimchukia kiki? Ndio familia. Na uh, tulikuwa tumependwa vizuri sana na mama yetu. Mama yetu ametulea vizuri kwa njia za kanisa uh-huh. na ametulea vizuri hakuna chochote ambacho tulikosa. Uh-huh. So huwezi sema hiyo maneno wanasema tisijui alianza rejection na mko wasichana wawili 
Yeye ndiye alikuwa anachukiwa ni yeye mdogo. Ndio ni yeye mdogo. So wewe kama sister yake mkubwa hujaona mambo kama hayo? Hakuna kitu kama hiyo ilikuwa inaendelea. Tuli, tuli, tumelewa vizuri tukiwa watoto tu vizuri mm-hmm. vile unaezalea watoto wako. Hakuna right. kitu yote tulikosa. Mm-hmm. Though yeye yeah, alikuwa yeye yeah, alikuwa anapenda vitu zote. Mm-hmm. Ukisema vitu zote ni aje? Uh, kama tuseme ana ukiletewa kitu like anataka the whole everything yani uh, she wanted everything for herself she was mean but mm-hmm. me I, I could understand her kwa sababu ni sisa yangu na ni mdogo mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. nilikuwa tu nina ninambeba vile yuko tumekuwa mm-hmm. pamoja so ninamjua vile yuko right now aniko jack kuna mahali umetajwa katika hizo interview zote na anaongea mambo mazito sana kukuhusu wewe akisema ya kwamba wewe ndiye ulikuwa in fact, we ndio ulifanya mamake asimsaidie. Kuna wakati alitaka sana kumwekea nduka ya Mpesa. Ukasema yeye hawezi manage biashara na ukasema asipewe na ukasema atazikwa na mnyole. Sijui namna gani mambo kama hayo. Kabla utuambia hiyo Jack sababu wewe najua ni mtu ambaye nimejua kwa muda sasa na nilistuka sana kusikia hiyo maneno. Utuambie hiyo inaendaje? Na wacha nikuwekea tu hiyo kilipo akisema msiseme ni mimi nimeisema uh, hapa dakika moja tu kuambie venye alisema hapa uh, one minute aya ah, yeah. i'm depressed mi niko chini niko chini no monyo na thaishi na na ngeneke ke you think i'm okay i'm not okay i'm trying my best to hold on and i don't know what i'm holding on to what ndio nini nilimfani limforce sasa uko kwote kabla mamangu alipe college sasa wacha niwaambie kwa sababu story ya college mimi ndio nilimforce nilimforce nikambembeleza one thing reke gwire no no mpesa ori ashe gidire eh mm. ilikuwa tufunguliwe mpesa mimi na sister yangu kwa sababu right that time i was married to a thief sister yangu alikuwa na huyu boyfriend yake bado eh ojere tu, ilikuwa tufunguliwe mpesa another uncle of mine called jack na Jack I hope unanisikia wewe mwenye ulisema ndazikwa na paper bag. Jack au gire atirere ati tutikahigorirwa Mpesa we are mm. very responsible. Look at me now I run a barber shop which a sponsor opened for me. Am I bright am I, am I, am I stupid? It's mm. four years down the line. This is the third year. You've maintained it. Thank you. Mm. Jack tafadhali kwa sababu ulisema ndazikwa na paper bag I will be cremated not sitazikwa na paper bag hiyo paper bag take you mombi mwenye uli u, Aya. Tuache hapo. Jack. Yes. Sasa uh, you are nice. Kwanza sana na sema asante sana kwa kuchukua fursa yako kutuleta hapa ndio mm-hmm. ukweli ujulikane. Right. Uh, jambo la kwanza ningependa kusema sisi kama familia tume grow tukiwa uh, very united. Right. As you can see eh, as you can hear my sister Tulikuwa tunaishi kwa room moja tukiwa watoto wangapi mimi my sister na another sister mm-hmm. alafu na watoto wake wawili wakati huo nilipomaliza shule mm-hmm. uh, nikaja Nairobi college mm-hmm. so katika hizo pilka pilka nimeona hao watoto waki grow mm-hmm. na joki as it is from the word go amekuwa ni mtu mwenye fitina na uongo mm-hmm. mwingi right he's never straightforward mm-hmm. and ni wale watu wanajaribu kutafuta some small pity parties hapa mm-hmm. na pale mm-hmm. just to gain mileage which is not the best thing mm-hmm. but it's a life she has chosen right uh, well kwa munyore na nitasema tena Mm-hmm. What happened is this. Wakati alianza kutanga tanga bado mamake akiwa jamhuri bado hajatoka. Akiwa kule tulikati chini nikamwambia haya mambo umeanza kufanya kwa sasa. Mm-hmm. Ni mambo hayata kusaidia na mm-hmm. umeona wenzako hapa karibu kuna vijana wasichana wamezikwa mm-hmm. wakiwa wachanga sana. Na mm-hmm. mimi mwenyewe kama mjomba wako siwezi taka kuona ati siku moja tunaenda kukuzika na jua la kwa sababu umejiingiza kwa mambo yenye hayafai. Mm-hmm. Naona. Right. So katika hizo pilka pilka unajua yeye ana pick and choose what mm-hmm. to twist, 
what to use and what to throw. <laughs> Ajasema kwamba mimi mwenyewe ndio mwenye kumwambia alikuja kwangu Mombasa na nikamwambia vile tutafanya umesema unataka kurudi shuleni. Right. Na sofa mamako wamekupeleka shule nne. <laughs> Aya. Wakati yule alipolala na yule jamaa walilala na yeye akamwambikiza virusi. <laughs> Text ilitumwa kwa simu yangu nikiwa Nairobi. <laughs> na mke wa yule jamaa akasema njoki ninajua mahali mmekuwa wewe na XYZ na nitakwambia hivi ni mambo haujui but nitakwambia ukweli huyu mume wangu ana virusi vya ukimwi na hivyo virusi melala na yeye leo tangu jana nimekuwa nikimonitor movement zenu nime umenisaidia na tunaenda njia moja Asante right. sana na karibu kwa hii safari. <laughs> Mimi mwenyewe nikaita Njoki. Nikamwambia soma hii text. <laughs> hii ni kweli ina, ina, inaambiliwa na huyu mwanamke akaniambia. Ya mimi nilikuwa na huyo jamaa na sikujua ukweli sikujua ni mgonjwa na well haya baadaye akaja kwangu Mombasa nikamwambia vile tutafanya kama unataka kurudi shuleni tuende kwanza upimwe ujue hali yako sisi kama familia tutakusupport from the word go kwanza hapo tuelekee na wewe safari mahali itakufikisha tutakuwa tumekusaidia haya alipoamka the following day mimi nikaenda kazini kurudi nikamkuta na barua alienda kwa VCT yeye mwenyewe akaja na barua akanionyesha akanitupia hapo akilia nikamwambia nikasoma nikamwambia all right well it may happen and this doesn't mean it's the end of the story right sisi tutasimama na wewe kuanzia hapa <laughs> na tutaendelea na kitu cha yes. kwanza tutafanya tutapigia mamako tumuelezee <laughs> vile mambo yalivyo yes na ndio hata baadaye asija akapatwa na nini na butoa ati mambo yametana to be what it is <laughs> so tukapigia tuka mamake simu na tukamuelezea na mamake akamwambia vizuri njoki vile iko huwa na ukimwi si ati ni kusema ni mwisho wa safari uh-huh. si ati ni death sentence uh-huh. people can survive right na from here we uh-huh. want to walk with you the whole journey uh-huh. na kitu cha kwanza utaenda tena akamwambia ataenda tena sijui kuna watu walisema aende akapimwe sijui the cell count ama kitu kama hicho ndicho ufanyika sijui mm-hmm. so akamwambia aende afanye hiyo nini haya wakati huo njoki alipotoka alitoka kwangu yule yule jamaa alikuwa naye Nairobi manyalala na yeye nikasikia ati amekuja kumchukua na gari hapo kwangu right wakati huo jamaa alikuwa amehamia anaenda anaishi mtwapa mm-hmm. so wakaanza hapo story zao wakaendelea mm-hmm. Mimi na mimi tukakosana na Njoki na Njoki akatoroka karudi Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Sababu nilimwambia kama ni hizi tabia utaanza kuleta hapa hatutawezana na lazima zikomeshwe. Right. So kuanzia hapo bas akamwachilia akarudi Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Na no, watu kumwachilia alirudi mm-hmm. Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Nairobi naye akakuja akaanza kujiingiza kwa mambo ya miadarati. Right. Kaanza kuvuta bangi. Mm-hmm. Mara nasikia kuna vita mm-hmm. kama hivyo. Mm-hmm. Na na mam tuna, mam tuna kuona, mam tuna kuona, mam tuna kuona, kwa hivyo tunakuona, bado tunakuona. Kwa interview yako kwa nini? Mm-hmm. Kwa interview hiyo ya KD, KDM. Kidogo tu wasi wasi wasifanye nini? Mam tunakuona tafadhali, tunakuona. Ni volume na daribu kutafuta kwa sababu siwasikii. Aya utatusikia tu saa hizi kidogo. Najua ni kwa nini utusikii. Aya, mukae tu chonjo msimuvumuvu sana sababu muko live. Tuko live. Aya, tuendelee Jack. So, well, um vile alirudi Nairobi akajiingiza kwa miadarati. Uh-huh. Na hapo ndipo sasa alijiingiza kabisa kwa, katika Anasa. Uh-huh. Na mimi sasa tuko mbali si kufuatilia jinsi alivyokuwa anaendelea akiwa Nairobi. 
Wow, sawa. Mam wacha nirudi mam wacha nirudi kwako sasa sababu najua najua husikii Jack lakini najua mimi unanisikia. So wacha nirudi kwako mam. Sijui ama unanisikia vizuri. Uh, Sikusikii vizuri volume ndio najaribu kutafuta. Oh, volume yako. Volume yangu haisikiki. Aya basi. Ah, We, na, mbele mbele ulikuwa unanisikia vizuri, sio? Eh mbele nilikuwa na askuri. Na sasa hizi unanisikia bado nikiuliza swali ama una struggle? Na kusikia la mbali. Aya sawa basi tutaendelea lakini sasa wacha nikuulize tungengane tu hivyo tu unanisikia. Unanisikiza? Hai. Hello? Unanisikia? Na nakusikia. Haya basi hebu tueleze sababu sasa mtoto wako kuna mahali amesema ya kwamba wewe tangu ukuje Marekani kuna kitu ulimfanyia na hiyo jambo ndilo limefanya yeye akuje akuje out ku, 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 kuongea maneno yenu as a family. Um na kia vizuri. So um joki waka mgonjwa nilijulishwa Mm -hmm. Na tangu awe mgonjwa imekuwa sasa hiyo ugonjwa uh, ndio chanzo chake ya kuitisha pesa. So mm -hmm. ikawa sasa yake wangu ni pesa. Kinipigia simu ananipigia simu kuniambia anataka pesa mm -hmm. na urongo mwingi mpaka hata ana, anasema kitu inako, anasema ti yeye ni mgonjwa anaenda hospitali sijawahi kukataa kumtumia pesa kama ni pesa ya hospitali kama ni pesa ya chakula ni mtoto ambayo ana, anapenda maisha ya juu ambayo hata mimi nikiwa hapa Marekani nina mambo ambayo ninafanya nafanya nilipwe na mimi nina nyumba na ninalipa nyumba nina, nina mambo mengine ya kufanya na pia nina jamaa nina, nina jamii nasaidia Haya, mam, ebu tusikize hii na so, ninajua me... <laughs> Haya, ebu, ebu tusikize hii jambo mam. Na ninajua unanisiki, unanisikia vizuri, si ndio? Ndio. Volume. Bagi yojiro. Haya, kama uko na headphones, tafuta headphones uweke itakuwa mzuri sana. Hello? Kama uko na headphones, weka headphones. Yo tukusikiza vizuri. Sikusikia kwa uzuri. Vizuri. Uko na headphones. Mm. Hello. Uko na earphones. <laughs> oh. Ota nipande ju. Aya saa, wacha mamu ajipange hapo. Ajipange kidogo. Ndiyo tuweze kupata na ya vizuri. We have to make this clear to the... Uh, to the community na nirudi kwako sister uh, nirudi kwako sister nirudi kwako sister sala uh, hopefully unanipata vizuri na nyinyi mko huko upande wa online mnatupata vizuri we have to make sure that everything works good to tusikie hii vizuri uh, sala unanisikia sala yes nakusikia kuna mahari hapa my sister your sister amesema Na I believe wewe ulikuwa hapo. Na hindi imefanya atoke na uchungu mingi sana. Aksema you as a family, you hate her. Na hamumutaki. Na hii maneno ilifanyika. I think she said you are there. Ebu tuambia, ebu sikiza ikitu. Kuona, okay, teo uhiki wa murata wake. Ojire. That is what she asked me. Aya. Ndiyo ujue uchungu enye ni konana mamangu. Doge diye dina. Nia keteo hiki last, uh, some years. Okay. A year, a year before she came. Doge diye kwe best man wake. Haha, ha, runda. Mamangu wakasimama vizuri kabisa. Mimi am seated. It was like a restaurant set up. Mimi am seated where my mom is. The same table. My sister and the husband and the daughter are there. Eh, hey, jita warusi nge do. Nya, 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 Weke do dari gani ruo? Bro, and I'm in the same table. Macho yangu ili turn red. Hapo na hapo, ana diare ide. So ahaku kutaja amangu hachi. Ndiyo na kuambia, 
dena sera dena venesa dena fita nike kege diga ni iruo ni ni what what is this what is this other rubbish that I'm forgetting bro you tell me modo alai karago aku alai karago aku now sara no that that is that is what happened no it was not like that ilikuwa hivi uh, uh -huh. tulifika mapema kama kawaida vile watu wananza kuna mikono you serve uh, kusalimiana vitu kama hizo so as we were eating si wako kwa table moja na mamu right. alikuwa asha yeba introduce alikuwa asha introduce njoki kwa hiyo table moja na wale walikuwa miketi na wao sisi uh -huh. tulikuwa kwa table ingine tofauti so wakati ilifika ya introduction ali introduce ali to introduce kama family and immediately akasema ah na nimesahau mtu mwingine yuko hapa my daughter Njoki immediately she remembered but already alikuwa shamu introduce kwa hao walikuwa wameketi there were two tables so ours our table and the one mom was seated na friends au wengine and Njoki was in the same table so ni like hata alikuwa ki introduce Njoki to us so she she remembered immediately and she said here is Njoki my last born so wow. na, kitu kama hiyo. Na wewe Jack, Jack alikuwa hapo ama hakuwa huko? Yeye. Yeah, yeah. Siko hapo. So hiyo mambo anasema ati yeye alikuwa amekaa hapa karibu na mamake, mamake akakuintroduce wewe na hao wengine akauliza ama kuna kitu kingine amebakisha. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Immediately ali, alisema niko na njoki hapa my last born. Mm -hmm. Na ilikuwa hivyo. Wow, I think mam tunakuona vizuri sana. So I wish you can stay there. Mam. Aya, mam tunakusikiza. Mam mam tunakusikia ukiwa upande huu tafadhali ka, kalia tu hapo 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 tu mam. Mimi nakuona. Eh, we siria dhimu yake dio ni ke yake aje ukire hadhi na none to withiaga na bere wega muno muno makere bara make sure she, she ametuongelesha vizuri. Haya, yeah, mam nakuona vizuri na ninakusikiza vizuri. Mam. Hello. Aya. Ah, yeah. Just a minute ni, ni make sure this one is working. Uh because we have to hear this from the mother. We have to hear this from the mother in a minute. Kidogo tu. Kule 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 kwa Yesu. Kule 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 kwa baba.
you. Thank you very much. Na jua tumerudi na thank you ma'am. Na jua umerudi sasa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Karibu sana na jua unanisikia vizuri sasa. Uh, we are back again na, na kuna mahali ndikuwa ni meachia ma'am na niwe ni kwa nataka unijibu hero swali uh, in a minute. Uh, uniambie hiri jambo your daughter anasema why she hate you very very much utuambie whether this thing happened chiji mam unanisikia sasa unanisikia unanisikia vizuri eh unanisikia sauti bado iko chini lakini nitajaribu kusikiza Aya sawa asante sana sasa kuna hiri jambo ambalo your daughter alisema the reason why she hate you very much anasema kile kina kimefanya ajitokeze kwa sababu ulifanya hili jambo. Hebu lisikize vizuri. Lisikiza hili jambo. Mimi seated it was like a restaurant setup. Me I'm seated where my mom is the same table. My sister and the husband and the daughter are there. Eh jita kwa rusi ngeda nya 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 ciana cia kwa re. Ni sara nya guthie. Vanessa dio o thuo na ucio ni muthuri wake wa sera we kindu ndariganirwo bro and i'm in the same table macho yangu ili turn red hapo na hapo ana diareire so aha kukutaja among her ndio nakwambia dena sera dena venasa dena fita nike kege diganirwo ni ni what what is this what is this other rubbish that i'm forgetting bro you tell me Modo, alai karago waku. Alai karago waku. She forgets you. Mwenye alikuza. So, ma'am. Umesikia hiyo? Yana? Umesikia hiyo? Eh, nimesikia. Anasema hiyo ndiyo inafanya asikia umemuchukia sana. Na since then, die alianza kusema atatoka na akaona unamuchukia sana. Did that happen? Ah, tulikuwa tumeka, tulikuwa tumeka kwa meza moja. So how it, ni vile tu mtu yote ana, mtu anaweza kuwa anaongea na usahao jambo of which alistom hapo akatoka na akaenda kwa kwenye gari nikamfata nikamuliza ni nini akaanza kulia ati nime introduce watu wote nimemsahau mm-hmm. So wewe kwa nini utaje sister yake na utaje hao wengine Uulize mara ingine na mara ingine ama kuna kitu kingine kimebaki hapo. Nakwambia tulikuwa tumekaa kwa meza moja, moja next to each other. Right. Eh? Uh-huh. The way you can be seated na usahau ku introduce mtu. It's not si 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 ati ni ni ni, ni, ni si ati ni kitu nilikuwa nimepanga. Uh-huh. Eh? Uh-huh. Kila mtu ana mtu usahau. Right. Wow. Haya. Sawa. Yeah. Sasa unajua naona watu wengi sana wanatuandikia message na wanauliza mm-hmm. kwa nini si kuleta kiki hapa. Mimi mwenyewe naweza jibu hilo. Mimi niliongea na kiki nani? Watu wananiuliza kwa nini si kuleta kiki hapa lakini nawaambia niliongea na huyo mtoto wako lakini ile matusi mm-hmm. alifuatilisha ilikuwa matusi mingi sana. So hiyo hiyo ni uh, story Hata ikiwa kwenye live TV itakuwa the same tu. I know. Yes, amna shida mama. Mm-hmm. Sasa wacha wacha mm-hmm. niulize Jack. Sababu Kiki she is very sure ya kwamba mamake anamchukia na mamake ni your sister What can you say about this Sister yako ame fail this young girl uh, Hiyo yote ni uvumi na uzushi mambo yasiyo ya kweli kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza kama kuna mtu amepewa uh, ile love na assistance na mamake sera hata hawezi kuwa anaongea kwa sasa Joki mwenyewe amesaidiwa akafunguliwa paka kazi na mamake aha hiyo salon anasema hiyo baba shop anasema hajasaidiwa alitumiwa pesa hata nafikiri the good thing ni ati hata kwa hii nini yako interview yako wa ya juzi ali admit kwamba alipatiwa 200000 Mm-hmm. Alifunguliwa baada ya hiyo baba shop alifunguliwa na mama yake spa. Right. Ambayo sasa hivi sijui ama ana run ama ameifunga. Mm-hmm. Sera mwenyewe hapa 
tukiwa tunaongea Seraja saidiwa hata chembe na mamake kuanzisha biashara zao isipokuwa juzi ndio mamake aliona joki amejiendeleza amefikisha mahali amefika so ndio alimsaidia juzi akafungua mahali pake unaona wow mamake akitoka Kenya wakati huo unasikia alitoka Kenya wakiwa na huo mzozo wa TCG amekosa kuwa introduced mamake right. alimwachia 10000 dollars <laughs> akamwambia kuna kile kiwanja kiko ruai anza kujenga hizi ni pesa anza kujenga njoki badala ya kwanza kujenga alianza kutumia hizo pesa na raha zake <laughs> na mambo yenye alifanya but hiyo yote haongei So, so, so sasa kama kama ye, kama, kama, ye Jack, kama, ye, kama, ye, kama ye Jack kama Jack last born aliachiwa 10000 mm -hmm. na kuna first born hapa sala ambaye anaonekana ni soba kidogo So hiyo ndio hata mimi nilinitatanisha kwa sababu wangewekwa pamoja wakiwa wawili waambiwe mm -hmm. hizi ni pesa anzeni kujenga huo mjengo kule wakiwa mm -hmm. kama madada wawili mm -hmm. lakini <laughs> yeye mwenyewe alichaguliwa kama mtu hakupendi na amekuchukia sana kama vile anajaribu kuonyesha watu amechukiwa <laughs> mbona akaachiwa yeye na si dadake <laughs> wow sister sister sala uh, hiyo 10000 wa uh, aniko anasema iliachiwa kiki where did you know about that yes nilijua aha uh -huh. uh, na tukaanza pia tulikuwa tu, tunaongea na mam tunatafuta pia fundi ambaye ataanzisha mjengo right uh, lakini uh, vile covid ilianza kuleta maneno tukapoa kwanza so watukutumia zile pesa na mjengo but bado zilikuwa kwa mikono yake so alizitumia vilivyo ama ali, alikula uh, alinunua plot yake hizo zingine akatumia yake iko under her name na hizo zingine akatumia na mambo yake okay so, wow. so kama mama angekuwa namchukia hangemuachia mm. hizo pesa kama vile anajaribu kuonesha wa Kenya ama watu wa diaspora anachukiwa hangeachiwa hizo pesa right now uh, asante now nikuje kwa mam sababu i think watu wa diaspora and that's why i talked to mam nikampigia simu nikamwambia mimi naishi America I know how life is in America. Kupata pesa ni vingumu sana. Making 200 dollars, you have to really work very hard. Kuwa ku make 70,000 which your daughter is demanding is still you have to work two weeks to make that 70,000 ama 700 dollars. You have to work two weeks very hard to make that money. Na watu wa diaspora ningetaka because hizi vitu zinawekwa kwa internet zinakuja kwetu sisi wenyewe. Mam The, your daughter is saying alikuitisha 70000 ukakataa kum, kumpe hebu <laughs> tusikie hii hebu tusikie from my mouth right now i'm not healed i'm not healed yet maybe when i heal i do not That know but for point. right now and some months to come i never want to hear from my mom kama atanisaidia pesa za nikoni nimemuomba ngedo acha wewe Deta la kiki wa ngedo itiguo wa ngedo wa means what mimi ni wangendo si ndio ni goda kwira ngedo please your my mom you gave birth to me you decided to give birth to this beautiful woman but 18 years ago where she like the weta gaira gue modike mwena jack na the rest of the family eh mo she like ni go kwa itiguo ado akwa look at me now go mashabia hizo majuju zenye mnatumia mtawacha mimi kama Mungu alinisaidia nikafungua kinyozi bila kitu yote hakuna juju yenye nilitumia yes those are very tough words somebody talking to a mother and i don't think anybody in diaspora should support any kind of utterance kama hizo hata kama ni mtu anakuitisha pesa is that the way of asking money watu wa diaspora ni waulize sababu niko na wazazi wako na watoto wanawatumia pesa mama yangu mimi yako Kenya ninamtumia pesa akitaka ama we watoto wako wako Kenya you know how much how 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 hard we work to make that money hebu tuzungumzie hii 70000 mam hapo awali inaonekana ni kama mlikuwa in good in good terms until wakati alikuitisha 70000 
Yeah, yeah, kila akinipigia simu ni pesa anataka. So, wakati alitumia hizo pesa ambazo nilimwachia na akanunua plot na akaniambia amenunua na meka kwa jina yake. Niliona yeye sasa ni kama kunitumia ananitumia kupata pesa kutoka kwangu na afanye ile mambo anataka kufanya mambo ya raha. Uh, si mara moja nishamtumia pesa anaenda kukula raha. Pesa ambazo mimi mwenyewe nazipata kwa njia ya shida sana kama mnavyoelewa vile sisi kufukua tunafanya kazi huku tuna ma bills nina, 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 na si peke yake ninasaidia ina watu wengi wa kusaidia ina cousins ina, nina, nina watoto wa, wa, wa my sisters au wote wananitegemea so wakati niliona hiyo ni mazoea nikamwambia sasa aniwache na mimi nianze kujishughulikia kwa sababu miaka nayo imeenda hmm? na sina chochote siwezi kusema ati ni, 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 ati ni na kitu nyumbani kwa sababu kila ki, ki, kila ma, ma, wakati either ako mgonjwa ama anahitaji hiki so niko na record data ya wave pesa ambazo nimekuwa nikimtumia right yeah, yeah. Na that time uh, wakati ameniitisha 70,000 ilianza it, ilianza kitu kama Julai hapo. Right. Julai ananiambia yeye ni uh, alianza kunitumia text ambazo ni mbaya sana za kuniambia vile atajiua, nataka cremation na nini. Wakati tulifikia sasa nikashindwa na nika na, 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 nika, na, na nikaenda nika ni, 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 nikaongea na watu wa Mungu. Akan, 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 pasta na akanisaidia akaniambia ataongea na yeye wakaongea na yeye na ikawa ameintroduce yuwa kwa pasta Kenya na huyo pasta akamu introduce kwa psychiatrist kwa sababu tuliona ako na shida right. after kupost hizo mabitu za kusema atajua na nini akaanza kumuona mimi nalipa pesa na, na, na muona all of a sudden akaanza kuniambia anataka pesa yeye ni mgonjwa nikamtumia pesa before ni mtumie pesa nili, niliuliza my friend yes akaniambia ana daktari mzuri sana kwa sababu sasa alienda akasema akaambia huyo pastor ati yeye ni mgonjwa anatokwa na damu na nini aka nikamwambia nika nitatafuta daktari nikauliza a good friend na akanipa jina ya daktari na daktari Uh, nika nika nika, nika, nika mtumia message kamwambia right. aende amuone Kenyatta akaenda akaona daktari before aende kumuona daktari aliniambia na pesa nikamtumia 10000 nikamtumia 10000 right um nikamtumia 10000 na akaenda mm-hmm. hakuniambia kama alienda ama hakuenda right yeah nakusikia ama hakuenda after two days <laughs> Nikarudi nika nikasifa ni, ni, ni na huyo mwenye kunipa namba nikamwambia mimi nilipatia msichana namba lakini sijui kama alienda ama kuenda. Akaniambia unataka tuulize daktari nikamwambia ndio aka text daktari. Daktari akamwambia hakuona mtu kama huyo. So the next phone call I received the same day ni ya kuniambia zingine za dawa. Right. Nikamuuliza pesa za dawa ulienda kwanza kuona daktari akanitukana akaniambia kama unafikiria naweza kula hiyo 10000 yako mimi si, 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 sina haja na hizo pesa zako ndogo ndogo so right. mimi nikanyamaza but uh, after kuhakikisha alienda akamuona uh, hold on one second Aya. um The things are downstairs. The freezer is downstairs and Aya, excuse me. Aya tunaendelea bado kusikia usaidi uh, ya mzazi uh, mamake Kiki na najaribu kuelezea jinsi amekuwa kimtumia pesa mtoto wake. Na ndio ningetaka watu wote wa diaspora sababu kila kitu kikiwekwa tu kwa internet ni sisi tuko wa kwanza kuipata na kuishare. Ili hali tunajua bado tuko na watoto wetu wako Kenya ambao pia wakiona hii mambo inazungushwa kwa mtandao kwa mtu ambaye ana demand pesa na jia hizo na anapewa itakuwa ngumu sana kwetu. Haya mam tuelezee endelea. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Sasa 
ikawa nikamtumia pesa uh-huh. uh, wakati nilimtumia pesa ndio nikapigiwa na my brother akaniambia ako na kuru uh-huh. na uh, nika, my brother ule ananifata nikamuuliza right. uh-huh. uh, anafanya nini na kuru akaniambia yeye anaona akikuja na akitoka anakuja uh-huh. na anatoka before that tulikuwa wakati sasa alianza kupost mambo niliambia my daughter Sarah waende wajaribu kuona kama watampeleka hospitali kwa sababu tayari nilikuwa nimeshaona kuna kitu ambayo inaendelea ambayo sio nzuri right lakini aka hata hata Sarah akona text mimi niko na hizo text kwa sababu alikuwa akinitumia akiniambia vile njokia na mjibu na nini so that was the first attempt ya kumpeleka hospitali akakataa the second attempt ni wakati ali, ali post kwa facebook ati amemeza dawa akanitumia hizo picha ati vile amemeza dawa sera hakulala usiku akatoka na aka, na akaenda waka wakachukua nini my sister in law sister wakaenda na wakaenda kasarani police station kwa sababu alikuwa amesema ame, amekunywa dawa Right. Wakachukua polisi na wakaenda huko. Mm-hmm. Wakati walifika paku No. no. Mm-hmm. Wakati alifika haku wafungulia akawaona alianza tu kulia na akasema sera na my sister in law wasiingie huko ndani. So right. polisi peke yao ndio waliingia huko ndani mm-hmm. na wakaongea na yeye. Mm-hmm. Polisi walipoongea na yeye akawaambia yeye ana haja tu ya 70,000 hana haja ya ya, ya si mgonjwa na mm-hmm. uh, hana haja ya kitu kingine. Right. Polisi wakamuuliza so ukipewa 70,000 itakuwa ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Akawaambia ndio. Mm-hmm. Na akawapatia mpaka namba hata mm-hmm. madam mmoja ametry kuni reach. Mm-hmm akiniambia anaona kama ana tabu na anaona atiapelekwe sijui rehab <laughs> Tunakusikia eh. Endelea So mimi Hello Ya yeah, nakusikia Ya yeah. Mimi ile kitu naona amekuwa aki, aki, akiaribu jina ya familia nimekuja kusema yeye amefanya mambo yake ile alikuwa akitaka kufanya awache kuingilia familia awache kusema urongo ni mtoto wangu siwezi mkataa sijakataa kumsaidia lakini kwanza asaidiwe kwa sababu ana tabu ambayo mimi mwenyewe siwezi kumsaidia nimejaribu sababu kama mtu hakubali ana tabu mm-hmm. sijui vile vingine tunaweza msaidia haya kabla nirudi kwako Anko Jack na pia sister Sala we mama sababu sasa hizi tunasikizana vizuri sana uh, unajua kuna hii maneno ma, ma, ya uchungu sana ameisema na kuna kumbuka our presenter akimuuliza ama anaweza taka kuongea na mzazi wake akasema yeye hawezi ongea na wewe sasa tunasikizana mam eh nasema Uh, kuna wakati mshana wako ameulizwa ama angetaka kuongea na wewe akasema wewe umembroke alisema umembroke nilimblock kwa sababu ya matusi ambayo hata mimi mwenyewe kwa afya yangu sio hata ukimwachi nikia one block ile matusi ananitumia naweza kutuma screenshot kwenye nini kwenye media muone ya yeah, hata nimekuwa at... nikipitia machungu. Yes. Na ninaona nimeona mm. vizuri sana pia mimi amenifuadia hizo ma, matusi na ni matusi mingi sana hata mimi pia nimepewa kadhaa na ni vizuri sana. And that's why I brought you here as a family. Hata nyinyi nimewaleta hapa as a family. Uh, dio, because we as diaspora we are not supposed to embrace mambo kama haya ama kama sisi ni wasikilizaji venye tunaongea. Just imagine yourself is your daughter demanding 70 demanding 200 na nilisikia mahali amesema umempea 200,000 right hakuna kitu sijampea mtoto nimempeleka shule wakati nilienda nyumbani mara ya kwanza ni alikuwa ako Ashley School of Beauty alikuwa amebakisha mm-hmm. one month kumaliza 
-hmm. Aliambandon hiyo nini shule na aka, 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 akawa sasa haendi shule na hakurudi. Baadaye nilimlipia kinyozi. A, akasema sasa tena nataka kufanya kinyozi. Nililipa kinyozi. So pesa zangu zile mimi hutumia na yeye hata huyu wa kwanza hajawahi kutumia. Aya basi, godia tu hapo mami, mnirudi kwa kwa Jack. Jack, nafikiri, this is a, a very touching story and we need to come out as a community. Kama huyu musichana kuna wale wako karibu na ye, we need to get her to mpeleke hospital. I have tried to talk to her, mesema ataenda media zote. And that's why I'm talking to you guys because najua kuna watu wa media, kuna watu wako na YouTube, na YouTubers. Wanataka kutu ku, ku, kueneza hii maneno uh, everywhere. And that's why I brought the family so that we can know the truth. Dio kama ni kusimamishwe, asimamishwe, aperekwa hospitali, aperekwa rehab. Na ndiyo hii mambo yache kuenda jia isio kuwa na jia isio na ukweli. Jack, wewe mumesemekana njini ni wachawi. Na unajua sasa hii siyo maneno yangu. Hii, hii ni maneno yake. Amesema njini ni wachawi. Na atawa, atasema kila pahali njini ni wachawi. Ebu ni ambia ulienda kwa kalumazira lini. Na, 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 na wacha ni seme. Wacha, wacha usikie. Ya watu simu, sujua timina ongea uongo. Sasa... Last time, ya lina hata siku wa nimetaja. Sasa nimetaja. Watu, waji, watu wajirekebishe kivyao. And then family yetu, shosho yangu, shia na shia keshi yode. Omo doke, tena goma shia kwa fafa hao. The same thing to me, me and my sister. Yako na shetaniza kwa babake, mini kona ze shetaniza kwa babangu nyeri. Now you can imagine how that family is. Nde unawana labda hata wanakimbilia vitu kama uchawi, kwa sabu wanashindo what is this. Unajua, todorere, Unego kora kwa generation cases Itikuwa, eh? So you can imagine Oyo, generation cases yako wao Nye, onanye, dinao Dinao kwa 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 Onanye dena generation cases ya Getonga, my dad was called Getonga Nye unaona naanza kudosika maybe I don't know Getonga Now, Jack Mimi naona hata ninashidwa Kwani hii kitu ulibeba ukaleta Amerika dugu yagu Sasa hii ya naogea Is it true or not, my friend? Well, uh Kwa kweli mimi sijui na ningependa kabisa kabisa afafanue ukweli wake ama yale anayoongea kwa sababu to be honest this is somebody who has psychiatric issues right and probably yale vitu zile vitu anaona tu ni delusions mm -hmm. na ni mtu sielewi mm -hmm. kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe sijui mimi nakumbuka the nearest nimekuja na nini karibu na wachawi ni pale kwa state ama waganga ni pale nakuru kwa stage kuna mganga alikuwa na nini hapo anafanya some acrobats hapo anaitwa Abdul that was the nearest nilikuja karibu na yeye nikipita kwa matatu so hiyo ingine sija sijajua na ange, ningependa atueleze vizuri na ukweli right yeah Aya, basala na pia wewe. Labda kuna mambo kama haya umejua sababu inasemekana sasa wewe hata kama wewe ni sister kuna wakati aligojeka hukuenda. Wewe kama sister ume, umejaribu kumufikia mm -hmm. sababu unajua sisi ni watu wa nje. You are close to her. She is mm -hmm. your blood sister. Yes. Mhm. Mm uh, mimi nimejaribu kumfikia, nimejaribu kumpigia, nimejaribu kumwandikia text like my small sister na mwambia afanyi vizuri na muambia we love her atujoi kumtenga for sure atujoi kumtenga ye hata ndiye amekuwa kitutenga like aezi tumia ile kijiko mimi nimetumia but mie, mi naweza tumia kijiko yake naweza tumia ile kikombe amekunywa naweza sip soda yake but yeye hawezi huh? uh, katika hiyo mambo ya kusema mambo ya uchawi yeye mwenyewe ndiye alituambia ataendea huyo mzee mwenye alimwekea kinyozi kwa waganga ndio amweke kwa chupa ndio kwa kimpatia pesa so for her yeye ndiye anajua mambo za uchawi sisi tumelelewa kikanisa tunajua mambo za Mungu hatujui mambo yote ya uchawi hmm. wow sasa mam nirudi kwako hapa kuna kitu ningetaka tusikie tu kwa dakika moja tu ndio tukuja tukimaliza hii maneno sababu naona watu wengi hata kwa kwa online wanasema Huyu mtoto ni mgonjwa, we have to stop this, apelekwe hospitali, the media zanya zinatafuta kueneza. Sababu waliniambia, nikiwaleta hapa, sasa atazunguka kwenye media zote kusema mambo ingine ya uongo. Naona watu wengi sana, nitazoma hizo message badaya ya kidogo. Lakini kwanza, wacha tusikiza hii maneno, one minute. Kidogo. Jani, embe tupate mtoto, misijui, misijui, I don't know.
No, mama, I'll make sure my my mama will never see my grand my my, my child grandchild wake kutoka kwangu. I will make sure she will never. By God's grace, ona kava day or age. No, dakone mwana wakwa. Do, uh, do you get do you get how deep it is cuz uko ukini understand now do you understand me do you understand me am i do you, do you need anything more bro kama kuna hayo na no hapana no hata hiyo yenyewe nimekupatia aya anasema wewe kama mam sijui ama unanisikiza mam aya goshiria go hope ni raji kwa mam eh nilako igwa Arauga ate eko mekishua wedo kona shia na shia ke. Luu, meario teno ura ameo yate ya mamu? Uh, ne meario eko reto tihede ya beredia. Oguo mm. neguo ato rete. Aje rete. Right. Gotile kiugo ata aje taga. Gotile kiugo ni itare daigua. Mm -hmm. Tumi deta moshiari ire. Mo, 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 moshiari. Ne, kwera kwa tere ere. Dayu maga moishi na morogi. Right. Which... To me, dio e dio e ora gi hota kuga todo. Age koro kuna odo hotura ga modo. Ni mo anawaku age kuera shugo shi na doni. Age igere ra ma odo matale ma igueka. I o ka iguaru oro igemo no no todo ni mo anawaku re na doge mo di so ni re. I do re na awaika. Right. Ogo na wegiuga. Wow. Now, toka kule kia thai si toni dira menya ni aratuona. We mwenye we ni aratuona. Na nejo yeo na adwari age a family mahu teti yo nide tueno. She said she has nothing to lose. Ni aruwari te muki igone guwara uga. Na ni aguwa teti adwa ige. You know, dali, we, to her, we dali no doge. We we ta ani kwe ake. What can you tell her? Ita anasoka kwe mam. Nigeza koro eji kompos ki dogo. We we ta ru aniku, aniku jack. Lu gohe kanya nga kawari liye mu ide tuusyo. Tuwane joni anako iguwa vio vio vio. Deto isi ala gedi ya kugasi ya maheni. Siti komoto ala hanene. Na no nyede mono mono mono. Ata idheke asharie. Aetheru wa modo gemota idhia. Go psychiatric help. Because honestly, she has some mental issues which needs some intervention before it's too late. Otherwise, the next minute, she attempted suicide uh, uh, when she was young, at 16, 14, 16 years. Uh, she has tried it the other day. Wakati nili have ku pigiwa simu sanane usiku na my niece Sarah ati ame alikuwa na jaribu kujiua and well those two times have not been successful and history has it that if you have tried once it failed and several times definitely at some point it will be successful and before that time comes she needs psychiatrist uh, psychiatric help na sisi kama familia tunampenda whatever she says honestly with all the love that we have, it doesn't even matter to us. She can say anything, but she still remains part of our family. And we love her that much. Wow. Thank you very much, Anko Jaka. Na unajua sasgine sasa unasikiaga Anko yea kona baraka sana. You know, Anko ni yea nakuwaga anabaliki watoto. Na Anko sasgine anachijaga baraka. Tukimalizia ni nataka ni kupe na fasi sasa. Wewe mwenyewe. Uzugumuzi, umuzugumuzie sasa ye mwenyewe uh, Sister, uh, najua uko na maneno unaweza taka kuambia your sister La, Labda ukimuadikia na, na kubrok Lakini saa hizi najua atakusikiza ama anakusikiza Embu muambie uh, Mini ngetaka kumuambia Awache kutukana mzazi Kwa sababu mzazi ni kichamana sana kwa maisha ya mtu Ye ndi alimleta kwa hii dunia Anafaa kukua na uh, na, na adabu kwa mzazi wake hata kwa elders wake kama mi elder sister wake huwa anipeye heshima but ni membrace you i still love you and we want we want the best for you na kama utakubali upeleko ukasaidike tutafurahia na aid is not the end of the world it's not the end of everything just be patient be calm 
wacha kutumia madawa, wacha kutumia mihadarati, wacha kutukana watu, umetukana watu wengi hata kwa social media, hata kuna platform moja ilifungwa uh, inaitwa Kilimani Mams, ilifungwa kwa sababu ya matusi zake. Alikuwa akitukana watu vibaya sana, wacha kutukana watu. Watu ndio watu. Watu wakikuokota huko nje watatuita. So watu ndio watu, wacha kutukana watu kuwa tu mtoto mzuri okay sasa iwe si mtoto uko 36 lakini bado una behaving kama mtoto wacha kukua kama mtoto grow up own your own mistakes eh ulienda njia mbaya rekebisha saa hizi you still have time you still have good health uko na nguvu rekebisha saa hizi na uache kutukana mom please for god's sake wachana na mom mhm it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Najua nasikiza. Mam, mam ningetaka najua mam ume ume umerudi na ninajua unanisikiza vizuri sasa. Ningetaka nikupe nafasi hii. Labda sababu niliongea na ye, na nikamwambia ningetaka aongee na mzazi wake. Akasema hana nafasi ya kuongea na mzazi wake. Uh, sasa wewe ningekupa nafasi hii mam kama unanisikia uh, uweze kuzungumza na your daughter. Unanisikia mam? E, na kusikia. Ya, nikupe nafasi ni seme. Sasa indio nafasi nakupa. Uonge na mtoto yako. Saizi, utamuambi aje, mamu. Ah, mimi. Vile naeza ambia njoki. Nina mpenda. Ya, ni mtoto wangu. Wakuna wakati nita kosa kumpenda. Ah, na ngetaka sana asaidiwe. Kwa sababu ni ugonjwa na ugonjwa hakuna mtu butaka. Na hakuna wakati hata wakati mmoja tushawa ikumutenga siko sababu yeye ni mgonjo. Nimekuwa nikimsaidia vile inawezekana. Hata sasa sijatoka kumsaidia. Pengine kuna mahali nilikosea nikimlea. Na ulezi hakuna kitabu cha kulea mtoto. So, mimi kama pengine siku mfunzi. Sema tisi kumuambia bari ya mapenzi, hiyo ni kitu, mimi kama, mza, mimi kama mzazi, si ata mimi mwenyewe, hakuna mtu nilienda kuhuliza ati, ati nipewe ushauri wa, 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 wa mapenzi. Hmm? Mtu mwenyewe ndio ujiamulia maisha yake bida anataka. So mimi na mpenda. Akitaka usaidizi wa kupele kwa hospitali, nita, nita msaidia. Wow, huyo ni mam ambaye anaongea kwa joki ama kiki. Na ninajua kiki pia yu natutazama mahali ulipo. Labda unaweza fikiria mambo imefika mwisho na haijafika mwisho. You still have a life to go and a life to live. Na even after... Na even after hii maisha, kuna maisha ingine ya mahali tunabi wangu hatujui ni wapi. So I think uh, watu wetu ambao wanatusikiza siku ya leo, if I give them opportunity to call the studio, najua wataongea mambo mingi sana ya kusimama na family. But I can, I, I can try to lead some of the comments I'm getting here. Uh, Mary Margaret Wanjiro nasema, hurt people, hurt others, problems started. Uh, Kiki, you will regret, usisahau, uh -huh, that girl need mental checkup. And uh, Hannah Njoroge nasema mama shoka na mushie kuna kakitu pia uh, Okay thank you Susan Kulia thank you Swe, uh, Ocheng anasema ukondani Faith Mwai Asanti mamake John anasema Kiki is depressed because she has uh, HIV But talking to your mother that way it is not good And they're gonna say I say the first time Okay nina wafad zina panda hata sisomi uh, Maria Mwaki thank you Noninga ya Asanti Purity ate kuwaringa She can't hear anything you are all saying We need to pray for her mind uh, Emi Chris asante sana Daris Dallas Nasema this sister is uh, Tunamuombea no ni ngaith, Leave mom alone Anasema mama yako amekusaidia Wengi wetu hatuja saidiwa venye umesaidiwa uh, Joel Karanja asante sana Kuruma on uh -huh. uh, Purity ate kuwaringa Anasema high mind is no longer okay We need to pull every stronghold out of her life uh, Evangeline Mokami, until she stops hurting, she will not stop hurting, hurting people, hurt others. 
Uh, nina wafu di Brenda Zioka asante sana Miriam Munyao uh, Kiki you sound so aha uh -huh. and uh, Peter you have made your mom go through psychological trauma she regrets give uh -huh. uh, aha ni nyingi sana 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 message na ninajua ya kwamba we are doing this uh, for the better Jack sababu najua hii sasa wewe ni wewe umesimamia familia side hii na Jack najua uh, aniko sana sana na kuanga na nguvu sana na ningetaka nikupe hii nafasi because me I'll be very happy uh, when Kiki comes down sababu nimesikia akisema yeye anataka 70000 what do you think about that 70000 mtampe ama mtamwachilia tu asonge mbele aniko Jack well 70000 hiyo si kitu kubwa sana as it is as she puts it to be but ni kitu tunaweza msaidia but she needs to come out in a better way si mambo na matusi just to gain whatever she wants if that's the way then it's going to be very very hard for her to get into our hearts for us to be able to help her kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza utafunza mtoto ati whenever you want something you have to come to me violently Nona. She has to be responsible. She has to right. be nyenyekea. Na ukinyenyekea hata kwa Mungu, you can't go to God asking for something in a violent manner. You have mm -hmm. to nyenyekea. Mhm. Mm Uombe kwa utulivu na unyenyekevu. Na yote utasaidiwa. She has been helped all along. Mm -hmm. Nobody has said no to anything. Right. But Whatever route she is using will not be helpful to her. Because at the end of the day, sisi tunampenda, ndio. But kama kamsemo kaugago na ndege koyo na I've had this from my pastor uh Pastor Kahora in uh, Worcester. Ado makuwa go na magoto. Ari amari to hera makago idio. That's exactly what's going to happen. At the end right. of the day, mm -hmm. so we are all in this to help her, and the reason why I personally spoke to the mom who had said hata kuja apa kuongea kwa nene because it looks like it's a family fighting. Mm -hmm. Nobody is fighting for anything, mm -hmm. but the truth has to be told. Sure. She needs help. Seventy thousand. On other issue, Nairobi, there are so many people starving. So many kids on the streets. There are people at a million, a hundred dollars they can't afford. Mm -hmm. But her, she's using vulgar language just for seventy thousand uh, dollars, seventy yeah seven seven hundred dollars, which is not. It's very uncouth. It's not right. It shouldn't be happening. Wow. Now, uh, kuna watu wa media. She has said she will go to every media to make sure that uh, she has shame you. Na amewaibisha kabisa. Mutaambia watu wa media na mnagani sababu najua wengi sasa wanatafuta clips za kuweka onea. Mimi vile ntawambia ni hivi. <laughs> if they get glory out of shaming others, then that's right. That's good for them. But the truth is, None of whatever is being portrayed out there is true. None of them is right. And it's very unfortunate. Some media houses are entertaining uncouth language and vulgar language. Ile nasikia wakati mwingi akitumia. It shouldn't be happening. Kuna watoto, some young people, children, who need direction but kama sisi easy media houses zina put out such language then at a common decency metupo kwa dirisha and it's not right wow aya thank you very much uh, kabla nimalizie na sala nirudi kwa mam kidogo mam sababu sasa watu wengi saa hizi uh, watu wengi sana saa hizi on on media ama kwa facebook wanasema sasa mamu atamsamehe huyu mtoto wake ama sasa hii ni laana unajua bibi inasema obvious usipomheshimu mst, mst, mzazi wako maisha yako yatakuwa ma, ma, mafupi sana sasa mtoto wako u, akija leo hivi akwambie mamu nisamehe uh, are you willing to do that
nikamsamehe kwa sababu najua si kupenda kwake ni ugonjwa nimefanya na watu ambao wana moja ya akili ninamuelewa vizuri sana na hata hivyo nimejaribu kumsaidia so lakini familia sijui vile anaweza kupelekwa na mtu wa familia kwa sababu wote amewatenga na amewatukana lakini kama wewe mzazi wewe umemsamehe wewe huna 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 mambo Hello Haya kabla mamu arudi naona amehang kidogo uh, Sara sasa watu wa media ambao wanatafuta hizi story sasa waziweke kwa media na ninajua sasa sababu ata, amesikia mumeongea ataenda kwa media nyingi sana sasa kusema mambo ingine mabaya utaambia watu wa media namna gani Mimi naweza waambia wajue hizo vitu watakuja kusema ni za uongo kwa sababu amelewa vizuri ni yeye alitaka tu kwenda njia zake na hataki kukubali yako na machungu hataki kukubali hataki kusaidika juu hata kwa the previous interview hii yenu alikuwa anasema yeye ni kichwa ngumu for sure amekuwa kichwa ngumu hmm? alikuwa hata ana attack huyo interview alikuwa na attack vibaya na hivyo ndiye amekuwa kitu attack ametukana cousins ametukana friends ametukana aunties ametukana uncles so hizo vitu atakuja kusema huko ni za uongo ametukana mama ametukana grandmother hizo vitu atakuja kusema huko ni za uongo kwa sababu we have proof eh? ni vile tu sisi hatutaki kukazana na yeye hatutaki kungangana na yeye kwa sababu sisi tunajua ni mgonjwa sisi hatuna ubaya wote na yeye sisi tutamwembrace akikuja we still love her tuko na space bado nani yetu kama mimi sitake mimi i still have her space huh? i can take care of her naweza kumfanyia vitu zote zile anaweza taka lakini awache tu matusi matusi ndio kitu mbaya tu amefanya ametukana watu asemi zile vitu nzuri ambazo sisi tumemfanyia kama familia angekuwa akisema zile vitu nzuri tumemfanyia hata at least watu wangekuwa wanaona yenyewe huyu amefanyiwa vitu juu tangu utoto wake hakuna kitu amekosa hakuna kitu amenyimwa amekuwa na the best life tumekuwa na the best right haya asante sana thank you thank you sala na mamu nimalizie na we na ninaona bado una move move na jua unajaribu kutafuta mahali pazuri pa kutusikiza uh, ningetaka tu nikupe nafasi hii mam kama unanisikiza kama unanisikia mam nakusikia Nataka sasa uongereshe watu wote ambao wamesikia hizo stories zote za uongo na pia watu wa media waongereshe ndio tumalize hii mambo. Mimi ile kitu ningependa kuongea Aha. ni kuhusu watoto ambao wanaenda wakiharibia mafamilia zao majina waache kwa sababu baada ya kufanya hayo yote yule atasimama na wewe ni familia yako tu na media before wa, wa publish any stories wawe wakienda wana wana wana, 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 wana background ya mtu wanajua huyo mtu amelelewa namna gani badala ya kwenda kuharibu majina ya watu na ku na na, kuwa, na, 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 kuwa, na kufanya nini kufanya it's in repairable villa women yaribia familia that's all i can say all right thank you very much guys for coming uh jacks vya mko na kitu ya kuongeza ndio niwaachilie well um uh, i think kwa sasa nitasema asante sana kwa mwaliko wako we really appreciate and continue with the good job that you do um an ardent follower of your programs thank you and i will continue following them asante jack na and i'm very very happy that you have also as a media personality you have also seen the dark side of the social media right and uh, apparently Let's not strive for small clicks which end up messing other people's families just because we want to make money. 
Thank you very much. Thank you Jack na pia kabla mjaenda ningetaka pia kuambia wa, watazamaji wetu wote hii maneno yote lazima sisi kama wananchi na sisi kama watu ambao tunafuata videos kwa YouTube na vile vile mimi najua nimesikiza side zote nimeongea na nimejaribu kuongea na Kiki na kwamba ile matusi nimetusiwa hapa ni matusi mingi sana 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 na sina shida na hayo lakini ningetaka tu we as community it is high time sasa sababu tumejua mama kiki tumejua jack ni nani tumejua sala ni nani it is high time we stand with the family sio za saa zingine zote tunakuja hapa kuaribiana majina acha sasa tuwe tunasema yule die mama yule mshana anajitokeza that mother needs a lot of support sababu ni wa mama wengi sana hapa america wanafanyiwa hivyo na watoto wao wengi hata wamekufa niulize mimi natumiwa message hapa mtu anateswa na mtoto mtoto anamwambia atachoma nyumba amtumie pesa anamtumia mtoto anafanya hivi anapelekwa hivi anapelekwa hivi you know what we go through here in diaspora so guys let us not entertain especially watu wa diaspora mtu ambaye anaguza watu wa diaspora huyo mimi nasikiaga kama ninawaka moto because i know living in a foreign land ambako si kwenu na unasucceed una ama unapata muga ya kukura na huimbi ama hunyaganyi mtu is just by the grace of god so mimi ningeomba tu wale watu ambao ni counselors ukiona kiki mahali don't judge her mpate mlete the family is willing to embrace her back they love the lady wanasema you know ni makosa tu kidogo imefanyika na kama tumekukosea kama we ni msichana wetu We apologize. We need you back. And this is what we need to do as a community. Ukipata huyo mshichana, don't entertain matusi. Sidhani kuna mtu hapa angetaka kutusua mamake, hata kama mamangu angekuwa mbaya na namna gani. I don't think I can stand nitusi mamangu. So please guys, let us use our medias for the glory of God. Sio tu kwa umbea. Sio tu kwa kusema kusema. And that's why I talk to the family and I kwambia you guys come out let's tackle this because I know many families are breeding here in diaspora also in Kenya kwa sababu ya watoto wao wazazi wao na pia uh, familia zingine And it is high time we protect our sister Lucy mama ya Kiki wale wanasoma naye wale wanaishi naye mahali ile state anaishi visit her comfort her encourage her because hakuna kitungumu kama kuanikwa kwenye media otherwise thank you guys i appreciate you for coming na tutazidi kuwaombea that god will help you out na kama kuna mambo imefichwa huko ndani mungu atazitoa tu mungu atazitoa tu Wala. because he is the god he is god of the living that's very true so thank you very much uh, jack na ninashukuru sana na pia mam asante sana Be strong we are praying for you kama kuna makosa ilifanyika huko chini uh, guys come together kiki najua you are watching me your family wanakuhitaji come together listen together as a family you will gain nothing kwenda ukiharibu jina ya wazazi ya uncle ya sister yako wewe mwenyewe just cool down come together reason with the family and life will change 70000 hiyo hata ni pesa pia mimi naweza kupe nikwambie kama ni 70000 inakufanya utusi mzazi wako hiyo mimi nitajikakamua nifanye kazi ni kupe ndio wacha kutusi mzazi because there is a blessing kwa kuheshimu mzazi kuna laana kwa kutomheshimu mzazi and i'm saying this kwa niaba ya wale wengine wote ambao wanatusi wazazi hapa and i'm not going to any side i'm not supporting kiki i'm not supporting the family i'm just saying There is a blessing in respecting your mother. Awe mzuri awe mbaya. That's how you get a long life. Thank you very much. Naona watu wengi sana hapa wanasema Morgan Kirago, thank you. Uh, Mwali wa bro, thank you. Delis Delis Asante wa Bwaga Sugar, thank you. Uh, Luslin Marek Mirka, a lot of people. They are praying for you and they are supporting you guys. Kwa hivyo tuko pamoja. God bless you. Na mbarikiwe sana Sala na Jack na Mam. Asante ni sana. Asante pia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aya ninapowaachilia ndio waende. Uh, kuna wimbo hapa ningetaka nikuchezee. Uh, because hiyo kitu imeniguza sana pia mimi. Uh, Sijui venye naweza react kwa uh, nikipata dugu abaya anafanya mamangu namna hiyo. 
I think it will be the worst day for that person. Ili uzidi kusitawi Hallelujah Neshimu papa na mama Barikiwe Neshimu papa na mama
Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Hata uh, mimi sina la kusema muheshimu mzazi wako. Thank you very much. We unasema tuna take side. We are not taking sides. But the truth be told. Respect your mother. Hata kama ni mbaya namna gani. Otherwise mimi leo hata sikuwa nikuja mitamndoni but uh, I think uh, we have learned something. Na pia wale wazazi ambao wanapitia mangumu kama haya ndani ya diaspora at least now you know uh, sio wewe peke yako. Ukuja hapa ufanye kazi miaka miaka nenda na rudi. Pesa zako unawatumia watoto wako, wanatumia kwa pombe, bangi, nini nini. Uh, this is not acceptable. Na kama kuna watoto ambao wako wa aina hiyo, uh, tafadhali ni vizuri kusoma na wazazi pia wafunguke macho waone mbele. Unaona watu wakisema mtu akona 36 years. Huyo ni mtu anastahili kuenda kuchapa kazi kama watu wengine. Imagine, mzazi anakupa 200,000 uende ukaanza biashara. Guy, ile tu hairoke. Nile dika na Dauma High School mami tu anegeria mutunuvu. Mutunuvu wagano. Mutunuvu wagano na maguta kuota, mai maga bao na walu na walu gaskunuvu. Akejera nyita, we mugimare thie we bage. My friend, unegeria tu mutunuvu wagano. Na maguta kuota, na maruga siku kaka nuvu, ugoto waraku. Aje lile tembea, my friend. Ugo tembea wako dhazile dhazile geki mamutu usio. Geruga dhabu dha umile dhabu dha dhate. Mm. Dhabu dha dhate. So, uh, kama we umepua at least uh, iyo pesa. Uh, 200, man, you are lucky, my friend. You are very lucky. You are very lucky. Ebu uliza watu hapa uambia ni wagapi walipewa. Hata wengine tulirudi nyumbani ukakuta kumefugwa na kufuli na wazazi wako ndani ya nyumba. Eh leo ni yogi malile. Mm, Toonie kinyani ndika diale cube. Na ile onenyu mire sukuna ni ndaja kuthukoma na adhabuda, ndaja kuthukoma na adhabuda na kutokuwa na my brother agia tatu methu da wakwa na nyumba ne mwe ne hawa ni bedroom. Na leo we na we mudru me mugima. Ona diale na gitanda no ngo mire gitini. Usoke usoke kwaku. Wai usoke usoke kwa nyu waini. Wako na naja kuhige to nae kufuli kinene. <laughs> na zina 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 kwa udheini Uwa nyo kwe ratia Ule uwe mogima Thabu daisi ole di ya le Le udhiwe bagi ole henyuba Le uwe urane yogi magana meri Na no Dike de toisho Otherwise thank you very much guys Madhani ya mura adhimi ya muno Thank you for being here uh, Ati mtu nudhu uh, eh, That's my topic Tonight's topic Joki uh, gasha Thank you muno makiria uh, Benson Omondi Asante sana uh, Maria Muhaki Thank you very very much uh, Judy Makamau Mnuz Anaweza kama angekuwa US angekuwa anatoa pesa wapi with that 6 years osho uh, nani modo mkuloko ogera kwa janii aiwe ni kwamba kukanyaga makubwa makubwa haya uh, thank you mno jasini tawawe wa sante sana haya uh, George Jerry anasema be strong mom just bless her uh, na unasema she sick and needs help uh, Taina Karioki asante uh, sana Regina Wanjohi unasema Jeremy do this niko pesa hiyo do Unapea huyo demu, nitakulipa with instrument, ama ugo bidhia hadu, hagosi anaga. Ona dige mune, kawa lesi anode mune, katale kugadira uga. Eh? Giri 70 tiga neto ulume musiari, that was my message. 70,000, unanegu etio neti ya kwaja, na uraiga wena duka, na duke onome. Anyway, Lilian Waga Dhura, thank you very much. Luna Blessings, asante sana. Nina wafu wade, nasema, this is the problem of many mothers. Muna kuja maju, kazi yanu ni kutuma pesa. Leta huyo mtoto maju, ahaso kama wewe ya pate ya dabu. Yes. Virginia Mule, me thank you. Nasema, JD, usio mwana doi dhena. Aya, kare wili. Be blessed, brother JD. Aya, thank you, Violet Shiks, waka wa my sister. Eh, naka French Vanilla. Mm. Uh, let me cute Vani. I like the topic, asante sana. Nudu, nudu. Aya, older than me. Nudu nasema, huyo mtu wata ni muzee kuniliko. Alafu wanaka hapa wana jishika nini ya nasema ati altumue 70,000. Uh, Kuje haso kama sisi Saudi Arabia. Aya thank you very much. Humi nasema ati nudu nudu nasema mimi nakuanga Brazil. Mimi huwa ni naosa nungu nungu. <laughs> ati ya bagi ya guru. Idizo zinaitua nungu nungu. Nungu nungu neke. Kana ne kono kono. Waiga kono kono. Kono kono ni edino hove. Maria Muhaki, thank you very much. Anese, nyokabi kanyambu, asante sana. Wangezi recho, haya, taina karioki, unasema Jeremy, atewe morume onawe. Dakwero, Richard Gatia, unasema offenses are always there in life. Haya, Jacinta Waweru, asante. Froze Karanja, she needs to grow up and hustle kama yudhu wengine. Salima Frida, unasema mimi nilianza maisha just after high school. And nobody supported me. We need to be independent and work hard. By the way, hapa America, unajua diyo tuko sisi. Mutoto wa muzungu, anakuanga na option mbili. Wacha ni kuambie. 
Asome ama akue homeless. Hiyo ni option ya kwanza. Asome ama afukuzwe. Option 2, akimaliza high school, kuna kuanga na option mbili. Aingie kwa ame, ama aende university na afanye kazi, ajiripie. Hiyo ni option ingine. So, watoto wengi huwa wana decide kuingia kwa ame. And that's what I've told my people even here Kenyans, when wanaishi America. Mutoto wa mzungu, na uangalia mpaya kwa neighborhood yenu. Akimaliza high school, anaingianga kwa jeshi, anaenda kwa nave, ama anaenda kwa air force, ama anaenda kwa wale wengine zi wanaito na mnagani. Kwa sababu, akiingia huko, akiwa na 16 ama 17 years ama 18 years, huyo mtoto wako na nafasi ya kusoma akue chenye anataka. Anaeza kuwa pilot akiwa huko na atagalimiwa na serikali Atakuwa nini anataka akiwa huko. And that is why most of our wazungu, unaonanga mtu anaingia kwa jeshi, Lafri 20 years. Nafisikianga mtu wakiwa kwa jeshi hapa America, you are supposed to work for 20 years and you can retire from then. Ebu ni ambie, mtu wameingia kwa jeshi akiwa na 16 years. Ama 17 years. Afanye kazi 20 years. Aritai. Uyo mtu atakuwa na miaka ngapi? Atakuwa na 36. Ama 38 years. Yani atakuwa ada 40. Aritai. So uyo mtu atakuwa kipata pesa ya retirement. Amefanyia jeshi miaka 20. Na huko kwa ujeshi alisomea dentistry. Nitu ya manito dentistry hii mambo ya meno. Sasa kitoa kwa jeshi. Kwanza, akona hile kipade. The, the ID ya, 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 ya first class. Wana jeshi. Wana kuanga na first class. Card. Hata enda kwa dege. Usikia unaulizago kama wea ni, 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 ni mwana jeshi. Ingia ndege kwanza. Hata first class wana kujaga badai. Hawa watu wanapuangwa first class. Yani wea ni mwana jeshi. Ingia kwanza. Everywhere. Unakujaga hiyo kirebeko. Kama wea ni mwana jeshi. Wazungu ni waerevu sana. Watoto wao wanaishi life ya first class. Uyo mtoto walitoka, yun, alitoka kwa jeshi. Asha kuwa sasa ye ni, ni, ni mwana jeshi tayari. Alisomea huko mambo ya madentistri ya mambo ya dakitari. Hamefugua kazi yake ya udakitari. Sasa utasikia mtu, utamuliza, utakunda mtu wakona miaka 40, umuliza yewe, alikuwa mimi nikuwa kwa jeshi 20 years. Sasa mimi niko na biashara hapa, na bado wanapata retirement. Na unajua kwa jeshi wanakubalisha urudi kazi tena. Na ukiwa kwa jeshi bado uko na, na advantage ya kununua nyumba pesa kidogo. So, this is what we need to, to educate our children. Taking opportunity. Wajifanyie kazi. Ha. Ah. Onadhirikari ya Kenya. I challenge buwana uhuru mwekanyo Kenyata. They should open wanajeshi, go here in America everywhere, unakuta kibawi meadikwa kama unataa kuwa mwanajeshi enda hapo ulize kazi, utachukulua kama hiyo saa, 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 utaulizwa are you ready to go now? <laughs> Kenya sasa ukue mwanajeshi itakubidi ukue unajuana na nyanya umoja uko kwa wanajeshi, ama uka umoja uko kwa wanajeshi, hapa America iko everywhere, unataka, hata mii kuna siku nikuwa nataa kuwa na, na kuwa mwanajeshi ule wa navi, when I came to US I wanted to become a navi, a navi ya nisijua mwanaitago na mnagani Ile shida nilikuwa nayo, yura muzugu nilimpata, aliniambia yes, jaza hii form, then I'll mail you. Nikatumiwa barua ya kuhitwa kwa wanajesu wa nave. Kada nikabia mtu fulani, mina taa kuwa wanajesu wa nave. Ah, kaniabia ndugu yagu, unajua kuswim? Kamambia sijui kuswim. Kaniambia sasa wewe, utakufia huko kwa maji. Gedeli yoguwe ya, tia gitu kile niye mwanajesu. So, even our country, Kenya, hiyo du inaweza kuwa kazi rahisi sana ya kupata kwa wana yudhi wetu. Kimaliza shule, kuingia kwa jeshi ni free. Wenda uchukuliwe, wenda utriniwe, at least kuwe na wana jeshi wegi. Na pia maisha yako ikuwe kwa class ingini. Atuwezi kuwa na wakora, atuwezi kuwa na, na watu wa wana jiuza mwili. And that's why we thank God because of being here in America. Opportunities are there. Anyway, wacha niyache hiyo maneno. Kwa ibati nasema huyo mtu ni, mw, ni, ni mundu mugima, asonge mbele. Uh, Pastor Stanley Mugena Sama, the girl needs treatment and deliverance at 18 years. Their parents should take no problems. Look at the stress she has put her mom through. Yes, the girl. Sorry to call her a girl. She is a girl. Let me get out of message yaku. Nikijaribu ku interpret message yaku, Pastor Mungai. Nikama unasema, ay, sasa mimi nimekuita, nimekuita mtoto waje. We, siyo mtoto, we ni mtu muzima. Anyway. Uh, Virginia Marimi, JD asked me about it. Wake, 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 ubaya. Man, let me say, let me say, guys, your story, imeni tesa sana mimi mwenyewe. Ah, usi muzarao muzazi wako, 
Where's your move? Ah, uh huh. Ah, what did Papa Ishen go man? Mfumetu pasikio lako tukujuza na kukuburudisha kutoka Asia, Ulaya, mataifa ya Uarabu, Afrika, Canada, Marekani na dunia kote tumetamba kukutamba. Sasa Kenya Diaspora Media, Kenya Diaspora Media, tunapanua mipaka kukuletea utangazaji na burudani sio kifani kwa lugha za Kikuyu, Kiswahili na Kiingereza kwa njia ya utendeti. Ungana nasi kupitia mtandao wa Facebook ama tovuti ya www.kenyadiasporamedia.com ama udownload app kutoka Play Store Kenya Diaspora Media. Pia unaweza piga simu kupitia 2509506 kusikiliza Kenya Diaspora Media. The